Hey, what's up everyone? In today's video, we'll be looking at a neat little dimp lock. Uh, this is the Winghouse Keytech Entra. And this is a basically six pin dimp lock that features a trap pin mechanism. So let's take a look at it. Here's our key, a typical Winghouse key bow. Uh, you can see the beating for the main pins in here and some cuts for passive pins both on on the on this side and on the on the side actually so there's our key the housing feature is a pretty interesting sidebar groove actually there's two of them but I can can don't, cannot think of any wing house lock with a with a sidebar so if you know what can this be for Please do tell me in comments because I really don't. So that's interesting. Here is our plug, which is pretty damn drilled all over the place. So six uh, chambers for the main pins without any over or counter milling. On this side, passive pins. More passive pins from the bottom in chambers one and three, but this one. In chamber two is important because that's actually where the where the trap pin mechanism goes. So I will talk about it in a minute. And this is actually unpopulated. Could be for some interactive. Again, I'm not sure in what wing house lock is this used, but it's weird because the interactive would be like in the front of the lock. And usually it's in the back, but that's just me thinking aloud. I'm not sure. Okay, so let's see what are the pins like. So as I said, there are quite a lot of passive pins, all these small uh, brass pins that you can see here are passives and these two as well. This one is, well, it's actually passive, but it interacts with a, with a driver that uh, acts as a trap pin. So uh, we have two kinds of key pins in here. So under security driver pins, we have these I would say just normal key pins, nothing extra about them. But under standard pins, uh, or I should say under standard driver pins, we have these security key pins. You can see nice pulling on their top. And this will give you counter rotation if you somehow overset this uh, standard. So these two security key pins are in chambers one and six. Uh, the drivers, uh, standards in 1 and 6 and we have also a steel standard in position 1 and there are two kinds of security drivers so this is the first one it's a really nice pull but uh, excuse me but it has a really nice taper uh, on the sides so uh, usually what happens is that you need to tap it even after you feel like you said it, it likes to drop. So you need to tap it multiple times. And these are actually tiny, almost like a barrel spool, but there is no sharp lip in them. So they basically act like a, like a T-pin almost. When they get to their narrow part, they tend to bind towards the end of the pick and uh, you have to tap it one more time. So. That's like almost a barrel, but in reality it acts like a T-pin, right? So these barrels slash T-pins are in positions 3 and 5, and these nice tapered spools are in 2 and 4. So all in all, uh, for such a small lock, pretty cool uh, variety of pins inside. And I would like to talk about this trap pin. Okay, so this is basically how you have the lock when you start picking. And then when you pick it and start turning the plug, it is at this position that the trap pin engages. And if you look closely, you can see that this chamber is actually a bit wider. So normally this passive pin sits there. But you can see that actually there is a little space in here. It's not flush with the plug, but it's a little bit deeper. So there is still some space. And if we track this uh, 
this position like around the plug you can see that it's driver 2 that drops in that position so as, as soon as you start spinning the plug when you pick the lock and this chamber gets under driver 2 which is this tapered spool it kind of drops into there and the rotation is blocked so all you have to do is basically take your flag or whatever and push this little pin up almost as you were picking it or actually exactly almost exactly as you were picking it and the plug will be free again so that's your trapping mechanism a really small thing but I guess it can throw people off if they don't expect it. Alright, so I guess that's all I wanted to say about this lock, so let's go ahead and get it picked. Alright, here we go. It works. So let's start by going clockwise and see what's binding. Okay, so nothing on one, two is Binding, little click there. Moving on, three is loose. Click on four. Maybe something out of five. And six is a zero lift, so let's go back to one. Click there. Two. Another click on two. Three is good. Four is good. Five is binding. Click on 5. Let's go back to 1. Nothing there. We'll click on 2. Tiny rotation. 3 is loose. 4 is loose. 5 as well. Back to 1. 1 is set. Another click on 2 and more rotation. Maybe something a out of 3. 4 seems to be set. And I lost my track, so... Okay, there it is. So, that was 5. The lock is open, but uh, let's engage the trap pin. So first, I think the drivers will fall into the uh, keyway. So we just lift them. That's easy. And now, as we keep turning, uh, the trap will, will engage pretty soon. Okay, now can see that the rotation is blocked, but it shouldn't be too hard to get rid of him. Okay, that was all. And let's finish the rotation. And that's it. Perfect. So, I think it's time to get this lock. Uh, let me just... Yeah, like this. And... Forgetting uh, this circlip. Okay, it's one of the better ones, I think. Okay, it's out. But I know that there's quite a lot of passive pins in this lock, so I don't want to be still careful about the whole gutting. Okay, so. it like this and yeah let's see hopefully we don't lose anything uh, should work okay okay this is out so let's see where are the passives or where there there are no so there are no passives in here Okay, something here. So it's not on the bottom, but it's it's almost on the bottom. It's like here. Interesting. So let's get rid of this first. I don't know if this will work. I guess it will. Perfect. So these are the bottom passive pins. I think this is the trap pin. This is a little. 
uh, one in the middle, so bottom is here. More passive pins on the left side, one, two, three, four, and six. So chambers one up to four and six. I think this, this will be the best way how to get rid of them. One, two, three. Four and yeah, there's one more. I think I can just remove this key already. All right. Yes. There's the last one. Okay. Now we can start dumping the key pins. I don't really want to go out. One and two. Three and four and five, I think, and six. Perfect. Now the block is finally free of pins, and I think this will be the easier part. So there's drive one, two, three, four. Five and six. Okay, looks like that's all. So just the springs remaining. All right, perfect. I think that's all. That's inside, one more close-up, all the pins in here, the plug housing in the circle. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today, hopefully we'll see each other in the next video, until then, bye.